Both of us and Chelsea had a vibrant young team, including the likes of Ray Wilkins in midfield. Only veteran goalkeeper Peter Bonetti and defender Ron Chopper Harris had any vast experience. After the goal of straw at Brisbane Road, Orient had been written off for this one, but it was to be a memorable night for everyone connected with the club, especially their number 10, Peter Kitchen. Commentator is Tony Jones. Here's Rhoda. Away by draw. Shoot there by Mayo. Grealish now to drive forward. And Peter Bonetti was at full stretch. He's Godfrey. And he's delivered the cross, and it's Mayo's header, which is collected by the goalkeeper. John Mayo with goals in his last three league games. And that was a decent attempt. Harris, like Bonetti, an FA Cup winner back in 1970. It's towards Walker. Good interception by Roffey. And Bill Roffey has put through his own goal. Chelsea in front, and it's so harsh on Orient, and particularly on Bill Roffey. Jackson was stranded. Chelsea won promotion at the end of last season. They drew here 1-1 with Orient. Now in this cup replay, they lead 1-0. Godfrey. Grealish also racing forward. Kitchen, held up by Harris, and around Harris, and around Droy. Oh, magnificent! Peter Kitchen with the equalising goal. He maintains his record of scoring in every round this season. A goal against Norwich, two against Blackburn in the last round, and a crucial equaliser here at Stamford Bridge. Tremendous finish. But what a difference a goal makes. Here's Allen. And Bonetti had to be alert. Boy, now playing with such confidence. This team have found so much sparkle, even though their league form at the moment is disappointing. They drew at Tottenham on Saturday, but they've now gone six league games without a win. Kitchen. Away from Harris, and Mayo arriving! Orient desperately close to going in front. Mayo, they're so brave and so determined. I don't know if he knows anything about it, though. Chelsea just can't cope with Peter Kitchen. Ray Wilkins. Now Walker, who's made such an impression this season. Wonderful save by Jackson. It was a magnificent hit by Clive Walker. Orient grateful to their goalkeeper. Britain so lively in the Chelsea midfield. Brilliantly done by Walker. Away from Fisher. And still Walker goes on. Jackson's handling impeccable. In this mood, Walker impossible to stop. Walker. This time he was denied by Fisher. The fullback at full stretch. Troy has made his way forward. 
Walker across to take the corner kick. And it's aimed towards Mickey Droy. Rhoda. Droy is struggling to get back. And Mayo is unmarked. Kitchen just ahead of him. Here's Kitchen. And Orient have taken the lead. From a goal behind now to lead 2-1 at Stamford Bridge. It could be one of the stories of the season in the FA Cup. Kitchen is loving this this season. That's five now for him in the FA Cup. Totally unmarked, but another very good finish. Orient are looking for a third goal. Hacked away by Droy. Godfrey. Benetti eager to get the ball upfield. Chelsea desperate for that equaliser now. Droy's header off. Langley. Jackson was so brave. Out by Rhoda. Paris. So many blue shirts around that Orient penalty area. Troyer. Anywhere will do. Orient now desperate to hang on, but they've worked so hard for this. There's an offside flag against Finister. Wilkins. Troy in unfamiliar territory. Chelsea have the corner kick. Last few seconds of the game. It's all or nothing now. In by Ray Wilkins. And it's too close to the goalkeeper. Jackson holds on. And could Orient now be on their way to the sixth round? And that's it. It's a terrific win for second division Orient, who've come from behind here to beat Chelsea. Two goals for Peter Kitchen, who's scored in every round so far. They've reached the sixth round for the fourth time in their history, and now they go to Ayrson Park to take on first division Middlesbrough. At Stamford Bridge, it's finished Chelsea 1, Orient 2.